Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sonam Gupta, working as an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So today I am going to discuss the website design principles, which is an important topic in web designing. Let's see what uh, it all will contain. So it will contain the design for the computer medium. Create. Uh, we will see how we will create a unified site design. Along with this, we will also discuss about the design for the user and what is the design for the screen. So, what is the uh, medium? How the computer will be working? How the websites visible will be visible? How they will be working? What will be the unified design for it? How the user is going to use it? And what will be the unified design for the screen as well? So, this will be the main uh, content for this particular slides. Now first comes the design for the computer medium. So what will be a design for the computer medium? Uh, we all know that the website is designed for the computer, not for the paper. So basically what is, uh, it mean is that uh, while we are designing on a paper, it is a different thing rather than what we are designing for the computer system. Like on the paper, we can draw any animation, I can draw any image, but those images are to be applied over the computer system. And moreover, the thing is that the screen also has some visibility. So how that thing, those colors, those look will be visible on the computer as well. That will also come into the picture. Second one is that the look and feel. Now, what is the look and feel? Now, as we can see that in case of look and feel, the interface that the users must navigate, it is called the look and feel of the website that means uh, if i'm having suppose this is a window and here i'm having my website so in this particular window how my website is looking suppose here is a web page which is being visible now on this web page how my website is going to look how what will be the look and feel for it how it is going to look what the target uh, users that will be using those particular websites or will be seeing those websites how they will come under the influence of the website the colors the images or the animations that we have used in it next one the users look and feel when they explore the information and design of the website so how they are going uh, to see the look and feel of a particular website they are going to see it when they are going to explore it like suppose this is a web page okay this is a web page a now the user is okay with this web page a but how he is going to explore it he is going to explore it by expl uh, by scrolling it further or by navigating it further suppose a to b or B2C. So by the help of exploration of the website, the user is going to see the look and feel of that particular website. Next, the look and feel implies the personality that the website conveys to the user and the way it will work out. So it will also tell that the, how the website is going to work out and how it is going to feel to the user. Now, how we are going to make our design portable? That is again a major question because uh, we are developing a website so that more and more number of users can use it. Now, to make it uh, portable for all other users is again a major challenging task. Now, how we can use it more, more portable? First and the foremost thing is that the website, it should be accessible through different browsers which are available. Different browsers for different operating system, computer platforms and hardware that means if i am working over internet explorer it should work over it over chrome firefox that means the type of the browser should not be a barrier for that particular website similarly the type of operating system which i am using it can work on windows linux any other operating system along with it it can also work at any type of hardware like i am using the website on my laptop it will uh, work as a simple website and same should be accessible on my mobile phone or tablet as well. So the type of the hardware should also not be a barrier while using that particular website. Next one is that uh, we will test the website in different different browsers. So the website is going to test being tested in all the browsers. Then only we can come to know that whether the website is portable or not. For that, we have certain features like cascading style sheets. It cannot be interpreted properly by certain browsers. So CSS, as we all know, that uh, CSS works differently for different different browsers. So all the browsers basically does not support for it. So if necessary, we will design the separate websites for different types of browsers and then the user and the direct appropriate for the website. So this can again be an option. Like uh, for every browser, I develop a separate website. This is how to make it portable, but this is not an actual solution for it. 
Next one, we will check the website in all the browsers and then we will decide for the desktop PC may not be usable on the mobile device. So, by checking the website on all the browsers, on the type of the hardware or the operating system, we can come to know that where the website is portable. Now, uh, let's see over this. We are having uh, this particular web page. In this web page, we are having an image. The text is also written over here. Some uh, browser's point is there, links are given over here. Now, what is that? You can see that the text image is being overridden by the text. There is some text, but the image is coming overlapping the text. So, what is this? This is incorrect text spacing and the font size. And here, the text wrap, it is also not proper. And the image floats in front of the text. So, this is an issue for it because now what will happen? The user, he will not be able to see what is being written over here. Okay, similarly, uh, the grammaticals, it is also not correct. The font size is also different for different, different things. So, we have to make the website in such a manner that any user can access it without any difficulty or without any difficulty in reading the text which is written over there. Now, uh, next one is that we have to design our uh, website for the low bandwidth. It should not be the case that the website can work only if I am having a high bandwidth. Because if I target only high bandwidth user, then the website will not be accessible to all other users as well. People where there is low bandwidth or where they are having the low bandwidth, they won't be access my website. So, the website will not be of any proper use. So, basically what is the thing is that we are having different type of internet connections. So, we have to plan our web pages in such a manner that they are available at all the different different connection speeds. Next one, we avoid larger images, complicated animation, movies as they take time to download. Second point is that we have to avoid uh, more complex images, more animation in the web page because what happen is that uh, more the images or more the animations that I am going to use in my web page, more is the amount of time or more is the bandwidth that it will be taking. Next one, provide alternate text by using alt tag of HTML. Like if I am having an image and if the image is being not loaded, so what I can use, I can use this alt tag and in this alt tag, I can give in my text which will be replaced over that image. Okay. Now, next one, we will design an alternate page that uses less graphics so that it can download quickly for users with a slow connection. Now, suppose I have to develop a website where uh, animation is required. I cannot skip it uh, for the high bandwidth user. So, what I can do, I can have an alternate solution as well. I can make uh, another pages as well so that uh, in those pages, the images are slower. So, if the pages uh, which is having more animations, it is not being loaded, then subsequently the pages with the less animation or less images that can be uploaded. Now, let's see over here. What is being done over here in this particular page? There are so many images. So, what will happen in all uh, downloading all these images? It will take a lot of time. So, when it will take a lot of time, then the system will not be able to download all the images in case of low bandwidth. So, what I have to do? I have to uh, remove all these images, make it very subtle and simple. Now, next one, it is plan for clear presentation of information. So, uh, what is, does that mean for clear presentation of information is that with smaller number of words, how much I am able to convey to the user about the information that is being provided on the web page. See, now because uh, the thing is that anyone is not so much free that I write paragraphs and paragraphs of the information and the user will read it. This is not a, a solution for anything. So, what we have to do, we have to make smaller, smaller information in such a manner that the idea is also being conveyed to the user successfully. So, for that, a term ID, ID means information design, it is being used and it means that the presentation and the organization of the information which is being displayed, it is an important factor in determining the success of the website. So, the success of the website truly depends upon how much information we are able to convey to the user and with simpler words. So, for that, we cannot use many fonts and colors as it may also distract to the user. We cannot use much, much font and if I am using different, different fonts for everything, so the user might get distracted. 
we provide direct links to the areas in the website that we think are in the most demand the uh, more popular links should be given over here next one we use contrasting color so that the text is easy to read that means the color option also plays an important role while making a clear presentation on the computer screen users tend to scan rather than read the whole page so uh, this is a natural human tendency that uh, what we do whenever we visit any web page we try to scan the whole page we do not have time to read the whole page so that's what i said that if i write tons and tons of paragraph no user is free to read all those things so what the user will do user just scans the particular page if he finds it appropriate that the data uh, which he wants and uh, what is required from the web page then the website will be a success else no one is going to use that particular website now uh, if i want to uh, convey the information there is some extra information or the important information so what i can do i can break the larger paragraphs into the smaller paragraphs so this is again an option if uh, the text more text is to be written so divide the text subsequently next one we you provide suitable headings so that the user can find the information more quickly and then we can break the long text into the columns and that we can link the text with the hyperlink so this is again a major um, thing which we can do while making the website portable like what we can have suppose i have this much of paragraph to be written over a web page now see if this is a web page and this much paragraph is to be written or this is a web page now i break this paragraph into smaller smaller paragraphs so which is more convenient to read obviously the this portion is more convenient to read so divide the paragraphs into smaller paragraphs divide the text into the columns and have the hyperlinks with the text so that the extra information can be provided into that hyperlink now let's see over this web page this is a web page for clear presentation and easy access so what we have done over here this is a particular web page all the information which is required it has been given on this left hand side all the hyperlinks are been provided so even when we, we will be clicking on any hyperlink we will be getting the exact information regarding that thing so i do not need to add all the information on the web page next one uh, this is the thing uh, information about the temperature humidity and all so just one or two lines will be sufficient if the user is interested to understand how the things are going on what are the things that are visible uh, what is the extra information about it he can simply click on this hyperlink and get the extra information so this is more or less like uh, the news websites that we keep on visiting they just show the news and then they click over the particular news if they want the extra information else they just read the headlines and the task is over now we can design the whole website while designing the site the plan uh, we will plan the unifying themes and structure that will hold the pages together basically what is a website website it is a collection of the web pages so we have to make it such a way that it will hold all the web pages together next one the theme it should be reflected to personality of your organization the company which has developed the website or for whom you are developing the website so that website should clearly indicate the personality or the origin of the organization if designing for the children we will be having more visuals more bright colors more animations more big font so that the children can easily access it so it depends uh, basically for whom we are designing the website if i am designing the website for uh, children then there should be more fun things more animation more fonts etc so that the children can use over it but if i am designing the website for adult or for suppose for news so the website font it should not be of much variable font more hyperlinks must be there for the exact origin of the news and uh, the headlines must be there time to time you know this is the main page of uh, cdc main page so this is a particular website it is including everything all the web pages are there any information that is required you can easily click over this link and the information can be gathered if uh, some only headlines are to be carried out so just read the line and those headlines or the uh, the text can be visible over it this is a children page how the children page is going to look so we can see that uh, more images are there 
more the font is also big if a ch- child suppose look over at this web page then he will definitely find it something more interacting now suppose if i uh, had developed the web page in this such manner this is not for a child this is for the people who are very adult who are very mature and who need the exact information but this is if we show this to a child then he or she is more interested since it is having more images more animations the text is also bigger so they can easily access the data from the website next uh, now again for that a whole site how it is going to be used for that we have to make the smooth transitions like we are having a left right bottom top uh, all these scroll bars are there the transition should be smooth for example i am over a certain page now i want to return to the home page again i should be easily able to get to the home page again rather than doing it back 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 again and again so the transitions between the pages must be smooth enough second one we create a unified look among the pages so the look must be unified within the pages next one reinforce the identifying elements of the website create a smooth transitions from one page to another and this can be done by repeating the colors and the fonts of the similar page elements like we have seen in many of the websites the top banner has been kept stagnant that is the home uh, about us about uh, the company the work we do the organization the committee members the team members all this information has been kept in the top banner and which is being stagnant in all the pages this is why they have done they have done this so that the pages they can be smoothly transited from one point to another point and all the body text in a particular color and font style are on the pages it should not be the thing that all the uh, font color and the font uh, sizes they are different in all the pages like suppose i am having a web page of an organization which consists of suppose 10 pages now if i make uh, those 10 pages of different different color different different font so what idea that will give regarding the organization it will not give a good impact for it so what uh, we can do we can have the colors and the font sizes font type similar throughout all the pages so that it will actually give a look that okay this particular website is of an organization let's see over here this is again a, a example of a web page so this home about membership members only this will be kept stagnant throughout all the pages and uh, this is the headline that has been given over here so by looking at this web page we can come to know that okay this is a very formal website of any organization that can be taken care of so uh, this is how uh, this is just an example of how a formal website can be looked upon it is having multiple colors like it's having subtle colors like blue green images are also there but they are not in such a way that the user cannot access it or the user may find it boring or he may say that okay the website is not of a formal organization so this is not the case of this um, chapters now uh, for the coming uh, for the for it we can use a grid to provide a visual structure grid means that suppose this is a page so grid means a uh, top banner different le- left one different the bottom thing is different so we can have this particular grid this is a virtual grid that can be provided so that the text can easily be accessible next one uh, it also depends a uh, grid way of organizing the pages into the row and the column form and it we can provide a uniform look that is consistency on all the pages of a site like i have uh, shown in this uh, figure as well so if i am making a grid of my web page that will be same throughout all the web pages so it will also uh, give a good formal look to the website table element can be used to put the grid for the pages so uh, table can also be used to make the grid for the pages and frame set tag can also be used so i can uh, make the use of the frame set tag or we can have the table tag or i can i uh, use the div to make the grid for the web page now let's see this is an, again an example of how to make a grid so this is for the world health organization so we can see that they have divided their pages into the grids like this is one grid they have divided into multiple type of grids images in another grid the text in another different type of grid uh, the features that are been visible in is another grid so uh, the in most in, uh, uh, relevant information in another grid 
so this must be in a different different grid so that the user can access the information which is being relevant to through these grids properly and also such websites give a look of the formal presentations coming further to it we can uh, use the active white spaces so what are the white spaces the white spaces they are the blank area of a page so a white space is the area between the text image paragraph etc so anything which is blank um, the extra space that is the white space it can, uh, defines the area of the page now i am having a simple page without any text that is simple the area of the page so white uh, use that is deliberately it is called the active white space which is being used deliberately and the passive uh, white spaces uh, these are the blank areas that appear on the border of the pages and this is due to the screen resolution problem so like if i am using on a mobile phone then the uh, passive white spaces are less if i am using over my suppose laptop then the passive um, white spaces are more this, this is just about the resolution which is being unused so uh, this is how the active and passive white spaces can be differentiated so this uh, this space is just due to the space between the text now there was text over here text over here so this becomes the active white space between the different text now passive is that which is from the borders so this is the border so this will become the passive this will become the passive okay so uh, the white space which is due to the space from the borders or the screen resolution it become the passive and all other it will become the active white space now for that uh, if there is much more information so the uh, page will contain the too much information if we are having less white space so for that we will difficult to find the information on a page and it does not have the sufficient active white spaces so if the active white spaces are less that means uh, more information is there on your web page so what we have to do we have to make uh, we have to reduce the clutter for it for the active white spaces for that we can also provide the navigation for the same position and it will provide the uniformity and easy accessibility of the use of the web pages now white spaces how they are created we can create white spaces by the help of the line spacing uh, making it line spacing second one by margin spacing around the para or the picture i suppose this is a web page a picture is to be inserted how we can make uh, the use for it we can uh, make um, the space between the picture and the web page so this is again a way how to create the white spaces we can the heading used to separate the content in the smaller chunks and images it can also be used to separate the text so this is how we can use the active white spaces or i can say we can, i can create uh, the active white spaces deliberately now uh, next one it is that we have to design it for the user so for the user we have to keep in mind for the user why the user has come to a site what type of information the user want and is the site for information entertainment etc what is the purpose of creating that website so um, we have to keep in mind the user about the requirements of the user then only we are going to create that website and for that the interaction must also be proper in the website we have to design for the interaction we have uh, to think about the user will interact with the web pages how the interaction is going to place that means how uh, if i am clicking on a particular link then how i am going to come back to the my particular web page so this is how the interaction will done play, take place how the scrolling is being done pointing to graphics and clicking on the images to reach to another pages i can also click on graphics and then how i am reaching to another pages uh, how the page is being grouped into various parts like what are the links for the pages what are the mathematics that has been used what are the computations that are used how the equations are being visible so this is also should be kept in mind while designing any website next uh, thing about the user is that uh, we design for the location for which location we are designing and it is very difficult to predict the user's exact viewing path because every user has different different tendency to perceive the information so we have to think like a common man or the layout layman how he is going to access that website next one uh, the research has shown that the areas importance are shown Uh, how that can be done like oh, the basic information must be given in the first slide and all this relevant information must be given in the another one 
so this is the most important task to consider the user while designing any website now this is how uh, it is being um, we can divide the web page like this is a particular web page we can divide into five parts like 1 2 3 4 5 and there the information must be placed depending on what relevant information is to be used we can uh, guide the user eye because we know that uh, the user they just scan uh, the particular page like we just scan the page left to right left to right left we never go from 1 to 1 1 to 1 1 to 1 so basically uh, how the user is going to scan that web page that will also be dependent over it like this is how uh, the design for the user is that so uh, like i had said earlier also we just scan the particular web page we do not go line to line line to line on a web page so depending on how the user is going to look over it that will also depend on the accessibility of the website so we have to keep a flat hierarchy along with it we do not have to make a users navigate through too many layers the information must be visible within one or two pages along with this a simple menu for navigation must be provided and uh, uh, generally the navigation is being provided over the left hand side if we can use the same navigation windows on all the pages for uniformity like i had said that we keep the top banner uh, generally intact so we can also keep the left banner intact what information is there provide a site map that allows a user location in the website we can use the power of hypertexting or hyperlinking over there so uh, the more uh, irre uh, irrelevant information can be over the hyperlink and the more relevant information can be on those headlines next is that web pages they enable a non linear uh, reading for that particular text we can click for the paraphrase for the linking and we should provide the link to the user so that the user can easily jump from left to right or top to bottom within a single web page now uh, the more important questions that must arise while developing a website first one is that how much content is in, in uh, efficient or how much content is enough for the user second one do not overload the user with too much information on a single page because no user is uh, so much free that he is going to read all the information from a single page next one uh, we can also uh, use uh, the comparing websites the most common uh, common websites we can provide short paragraphs or the links to provide link to the each topic now now uh, last one it is that the design for the screen so we have to consider the case the differences between the screen and the printed paper along with this we have to shape the screen landscape paper portrait paper it reflects a screen but screen, uh, basically the screen light passes from the behind so that is again a challenge between a screen and a paper another thing is provide enough contrast on page lighting background and the dark front we should avoid light text on light background along with it it's seen it has a low resolution than the paper so these are the major challenges between the paper and the screen thank you